why can't I open that? Blueberry Truly. Not bad. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be watching You Season 2, Episode 5. Now, in the last episode, it ended with a cliffhanger that Candace has tracked Joe down. She tracked down Love and 40. Now, her plan is to get 40 to fall in love with her, so then that will lead right back to Joe. Now, like, okay, she, yeah, obviously, she knows who Love and 40 is. She's doing this on purpose. She's done her research. She figured out he's in LA. She figured out he's seeing this girl love somehow. I'm guessing they post, she, Love posted a photo of Joe or something on Instagram and she found it. Probably went through like the location tags of LA. If she knows Joe pretty well, she would know, okay, LA resonates with him because of his mom or something like that. So she would probably be checking locations, bookstores that are tagged in LA and be like, okay, did anyone post a picture with Joe? And like, oh, Joe's in this photo? Okay, he lives down here. And then I'm, I'm assuming she found like Love's account or something because she might have posted something with Joe. Something like, cause like, this isn't a coincidence there is this is not a fucking coincidence that love is met 40 and like everything like that this is not a coincidence and i can't wait to see joe's reaction so i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon as early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on patreon so let's get started way too long let's just take the pj damn they're that rich they could just take a fucking pj just like that oh my god what time is love getting there who knows? She's on her new boyfriend's dick like herpes. Don't get me wrong, I love the guy, but... Will, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, Candace has done her, her research. Okay, let's... Let, love me. I don't! I don't love you. I never have. Don't do this! Stop! Okay. Oh god, oh god, Joe. Okay, I was curious to see, yeah. They never showed us what happened after that interaction until now. But like I was, I was wondering, okay, what happened after? Because obviously he's done some, he did some shit to her after, and like we don't know yet. So I now truly understand the term "love of my life." No, you don't. Okay, remember they charm so that they can manipulate. What is that? Are you, are you Spider Man? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alfred, I love you. Hmm. Freddie's gonna go off the rails again. I can tell. It's gonna be bad. Well, it's a new mm -hmm. impossible to predict type of bad for him. And then he tries to get our parents to like her and he flings himself mm -hmm. off a cliff when they don't. Leaving you to clean the splatter. I got a strap. I'm good with parents. Are oh, you at Henderson's the night he died, Ellie? What are these? What do you think they are? Don't evade with the question. You evaded with the question first! Jesus! Those are Henderson's. No, they're not. They're random. They're, he's not even in them. They're just. I know. Because he did it to me. I don't believe you. Show her the photo. Where's your photo you? then? Friend! He wasn't your friend, mm. Allie! Let me guess. He made you promise not to tell anyone you were hanging out alone together? Basic predator move. You are a lot of things, but you're not stupid. Oh! oh. 40. Amy here, is Amy here, is Amy here? she go? There she is. Oh, you gotta meet my girl, Amy. Amy! Oh god, okay. <laughs> the slow motion. Will Bettelheim? Amy Adam. Nice to meet you. It can't be. Am I? Fascinating. <laughs> this is her hand. This is real. Candace is here. Will Bettelheim. Yeah, dude, Joe's entire body just got so cold. Almost sounds made up. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to spar with me? <laughs> mm-hmm. Amy Adam. Totally ungoogleable. <laughs> <laughs> like the kids say, fuck my life. <laughs> Oh god, what, you, what the fuck? You fucking tied her up. Oh good, you're awake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's okay, you are totally safe. I don't fucking feel safe. <laughs> like what? Are you gonna tie me up like this and take me somewhere random? Tell me I'm so what? Can you promise to be calm? No. And you're just saying that because you think it's what I want to hear. No, I'm saying that because I'm tied up in the back of a van. I had to. Mm -hmm. Remember that amazing picnic we had? I brought all your faves again. Bro, we're not having a goddamn picnic. I know, I know you don't want to hurt me. I would never hurt you. Untie me, untie me. I can't do that yet, you know I can't. Thanks, thank you. Oh, her hand, <gasps> okay, yeah, I would take off running, what the fuck? But her hands are tied in front of her. Bro, if you get behind him and you just put your hands tied up around his neck, you're choking the shit out of him. Please. Stop. 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 Oh, what? 
He like hit her head on the tree. And it felt like it was fate. Inseparable ever since. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, we actually. Yeah, poor forty, dude. Poor forty. Like he's just he's being used so hard right now. Do Amy. Um, Amy is an indie film producer. Oh come on. Yeah, we're actually <laughs> already in soft. Dude, she did her research, son. What are you doing here? I told you I'd show up to give you what you deserve. Get this time bomb away from you, love. Want to know how I found you? I would love to hear. Afternoon, when I saw this clickbait about how the stars live, there was this link about how all the cool kids go to Henderson's house, and although I wasn't familiar with it. See in the background? Douchebag, high as balls on his coffee table. Yeah, 40. Eyes on my new dreamy bow. Okay. <laughs> and. No. Yeah, okay. Could not be. I was. But I found you. You're gonna tell them this dramatic tale i mean it is their special weekend so i'll wait if and when i have to but i am going to protect them from you bunny <laughs> i mean she had to have done other research and just that because how would she know 40 and joe are friends it could just been some random dude at the party you know like did she just luck out that joe happens to be dating 40 sister <laughs> it's fine i won't inhale now inhale <laughs> what a chin She's not flirting, she's testing me. I'm- Mm-hmm. Is the most amazing woman I've ever met. I like you for love. I mean, yeah, love did say she was manipulative, so... <laughs> oh! Yeah, dogs are a great judgy character. They know right away. Forty always, you know, tries to impress our parents with these girls. And they don't give a shit. And she's looking for her. that photo of Delilah to see or not if she was lying, to see if she was lying or not. I will fulfill my lifelong dream of traveling to Italy. <laughs> Italy? Seriously? She is obsessed with me. You, I'm sorry, um... <laughs> Fear love. Hug. PTSD. What Joe did to her. No, don't go in the tent. Me or the Quins, I reveal your identity to everyone and everything gets turned over to the authorities. Are you crazy? Mm. I'm just trying to talk. Can we please just have a truce? Stay away from me. Someone's gonna see them walk out of this tent. They're gonna be like, oh, they were fucking. Me. Mm. You don't wanna Ooh. protect them. Go ahead. Do it. I can't. It's a lot harder than it looks. Oop. What are you guys doing in here? Look, that looks really bad. I'm fine with either. Amy, are you okay? You can't tell me anything. I don't want to sound crazy. Mm hmm? Something bad happened to me. I got lost with a guy who I kind of thought was bad news. It turned out fine, though. Yeah, I mean, you're probably being triggered. So tell me, how did you and Will meet? You work. I basically forced him to date me. Oh, does that get complicated? Does it get complicated with you and 40? Oh, no, we're great. We're They've been together for like a day. Almost <laughs> more time has passed off off screen. Yeah, I, where do you work? Have you met my friend Lucy? She works at United. Oh, I'm independent. I'm at the agency. Mm, yeah. Oh, right. Um, no. It's an easy mistake. So here's a nod. Love knows she's lying. Um, did you get my email? It's not every man that can pull off linen. 40, I don't want to hear it. Okay, okay. Damn. I do feel bad for 40, dude. I should. Addiction's not an on and off thing, and it's no excuse for being a bum. 100K, this is the last time I ask. Will. Will has heard the pitch. I think it's a great idea. Uh, it's not. I'm not writing you another check. Get a job. And a life. I mean, dude, 100K is a lot to ask for. I, I get they're super mega rich. I mean, don't get me wrong, the dad, the dad is a dickhead. He's being an ass about it, but I mean, like, he's probably just trying to make 40 really learn just to get a job. And he doesn't want to give a hand, another handout to 40 again. He wants him to work for what he, he wants and everything. So he's just being a dick about it. Been off. You mm. feel weird ever since we got here. For now. You want to know why I'm weird? Jesus Your Christ. is insane. I thought Joe was wearing a fucking undershirt for a second. <laughs> 40 ordered Taco Bell. Yeah. Well, what's happening? Well, I have to go. 40 always orders Taco Bell before he relapses. Hmm. Me. Me. 
this chick Amy for some reason. You don't like her either. Look, I, to be the perfect boyfriend, I want to be so badly. <laughs> but you fed me to the wolves. It, literally. Thanks for making a stressful weekend so much worse by starting this fight. Our first fight. I blame Candace. It's time for her to go. No, 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 bro. What are you gonna do? I mean, shit, dude. Joe might kill Candace this time because he's already killed Benji and Beck. So it's like, and Peach. So he's like, gets three kills. Yeah, uh, they're trying to get a full picture of what Henderson was into. I told him mm -hmm. that I got a lead on someone who has some knowledge of some young girls that we could follow up with. Yeah, I mean, the photos, you like, where he took the photos is still in the house. You could match the background to there and link it to him then on like the same air mattress behind the curtain and stuff. Yep, and Ellie took him. Have you guys seen my brother? You're more important than my pride. I'm sorry. I could not be the one that makes you feel better right now. I am looking for my brother and trying to handle my mother and right, I- I'll help. help her find, I'll find 40. 40. Okay, okay, there you go, there you go. <laughs> 40, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just smoking dope. Like, it's not too bad. It's not like he's doing crack. Just getting high, like, whatever. Fucking crackheads. <laughs> oh, are they doing crack? I doubt it. No, they're just getting high. And they're just smoking weed. Knowing that they are so much more than their worst moments. Mm -hmm. You're not talking about them. Contrary mm. to internet opinion, my parents' love is not perfect. You're talking about us. It's I don't want to go that far yet. Because she doesn't know... She doesn't know you like that, Joe. But Joe's like narcissism brought him to that conclusion. How are you guys doing? You've done enough. Mm. All you ever have to do is keep your brother safe. You failed. Bro, he's a grown he man. Me. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? What the fuck, mom? Bro, 40's a grown ass man. Like, You're a fucking I'm here to- hypocrite. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I saw what your mom did. Are you okay? My dad hit me a lot. I want to know you. I want to know you. No, you don't. Yeah, I feel like I've been um, I've been acting weird, and I feel like it's because of the, there's all these things that I felt like I couldn't tell you, but like fuck that. You remember the um, the Nilla wafers? They they open. My parents started Navarin when we were like 13, and they hired this woman, Sophia. She was his first love. To this day, it's not acknowledged that it was abused and eventually my parents caught them together and they let her go and she was troubled she killed herself before he's the one who found the body yeah nothing has ever really been the same my parents kept everything quiet with money yeah that was traumatized 40 uh you've met my parents now so you know why i'm stuck with him yeah we are Yes, we are stuck with him. We will take care of him together. I don't think I've ever been in love before. It's been infatuation. Mm. Joe, if you're going to go as far as go as far as to say that, then what are you going to do when you start getting crazy over love? If you never cuz apparently if you never loved Beck, that shit you would do for love, then I just I can't even imagine. Can I tell you I love you yet? Oh. In the meantime, let me say I love you. Mom, yeah. is there another word you can use? Our word? Um, I wolf you. <laughs> I wolf you too. I couldn't believe he would do this. Okay, you saw him, but why'd you take him though? I'm sorry, I was being such an asshole. I think we should burn those. Mm. If these photos were ever leaked. You want to protect them? Every time someone Googled the girls. That's true. To the woods. I don't remember what happened next. I just, I, I woke up buried. Mm, so he buried her and he thought he killed her, so he buried her. You happen to take any pictures or save any texts between you? No, I, he has my phone. So you have no proof. Damn. He thinks you're dead. You want some really off the record advice? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Stay that way. I'm not, gonna I'm not afraid of you anymore. You really had something on me. You would have turned me in already. I'm not afraid of you either. Well, she, she can't. She has no proof. You never know if you're fight or flight until you're forced to find out. Turns out, I'm fight. You ran away. What do you mean? I mean, I guess that you came back. To do is wait for you to mess up. Murder has a way of following you. Yeah, she ain't wrong there. 
postcard from Will in Manila. Mm. It's going well. Okay. Alright, there's one more. I feel like flushing down the toilet would fucking ruin your toilet. Would that, would that not? I know you're cutting them up into small pieces, but like still. Do you want to go to the stock room? Mm. Yes. I would like that very much. <laughs> oh, hey, Vordy. I can't name names, but uh, let's just say the Academy robbed him. <laughs> anyway, I... Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> just kidding. What's the book? I thought you were busy prepping Bang, Mary Kill. Mm. Yeah, that felt like more of a second feature, but uh, Amy turned me on to this memoir. Oh, no. Is it... Is it... Yeah, this uh, main character, Beck. Uh, it's fucking Beck's book. Yeah, Love is gonna read that book and be like, oh my god, this is terrible. Be like, what happened to this girl is horrible, and like... What, what, 40, what? Now they're saying they think Henderson was murdered. Hmm. Benji, Peach, Beck, Ron, Jasper, Henderson. God damn, that's a lot of murders. If, if that's true, a famous man like Henderson, they won't stop until they find who did it, right? Yeah, Candace already knows this joke. All right, well, that was episode five. So, okay, we got to learn a lot more about what happened with Joe and Candace because in the last season, it only showed us up until, like, he gave her the book and she ripped it up and threw it away. And then it kind of just cut off from there. Like, they they didn't show us anything that happened after it. And then when she she came back to him when he was still in New York, she's like, I'm going to show everyone what a monster you are and everything. But then it showed us what happened after it. And, okay, it makes sense why she she's not going to the police or whatever, why she's choosing to do this way instead because she has nothing on Joe. She can't. She has no proof. Like, he took her phone. He took everything there's no evidence to prove he did anything like that which is really shitty for candace honestly like like okay it's kind of fucked because the show does a really good job of getting us invested into like joe but at the same time like dude he's a horrible person like he's a terrible person and like the, i want to be honest the show has done a pretty good job of making me not really like candace but it's hard to not feel bad for her like joe put her through some shit dude like no one should have to go through that that's fucked so like I want Candace to kind of win this, to be honest, you know? Okay, if I'm being honest, I don't really care what happens. I just want to like, I just want to get entertaining. That's all I care about. I just want to see the show get really entertaining. But then the episode ended with 40 reading the news and like, you know, they think that Hendy was actually murdered now, which, okay. Did Joe leave something behind at the crime scene? Like it didn't show us him leaving something behind, you know, like the jar of piss he left at Peach's house. So maybe, maybe not. Wait, whatever happened to the private investigator? Like, or is that just not coming back or anything because he's in LA now and the private investigators in New York? I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, Candace can pretty much just assume that was probably Joe too, who killed Hendy and everything. But how would Candace know that Joe murdered Beck and everything? Like, she totally just jumped to that conclusion. Like, she would, she, like, yeah, sure, Joe kind of. Joe thought he killed Candace by accident, so he buried her and left. But like, but she doesn't know for sure if he like actually killed someone else. You know? I mean, it's very likely that he did with whatever girl he's with next, you know? It's very, it's very likely, but it's like, I mean, she's not wrong. It's, it's a correct guess, but like still, how does she see Beck's book and just know that Joe was behind this? Like how? I mean, she probably, I mean, I guess she read it and she was like, yeah, this sounds a lot like Joe. I don't know. But then at the end, Joe named off everyone he murdered too. And dude, that's a lot of people. So I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Joe's willing to go, if Joe's willing to go as far as murdering Candace. I would not be surprised if he tries to do it. Like Joe's already murdered Benji, Peach, Beck, Ron, Jasper, and Henderson. So he's probably going to justify it by being like, well, it's one more. Like Candace is going to get in the way of me and love. I have to do this or something like that. So yeah. But anyways, that was season two, episode five. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.